whether you have 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks, five grand. I'm gonna explain some tips that if I started over again, how I would grow a small account and how to expect the best results and speed up the learning curve while not losing as much money in the process. I'm a firm believer in it and it's a piece of advice a really close friend of mine who works on Wall Street has told me a while ago and it really stuck with me and everyone I tell this to and listens to this advice, they slowly start becoming a better trader. Before we get into it, I recommend everyone to follow me on Instagram at Investitrade. I will post the link in the description below. I post daily trading recaps on here along with very good trading tips and tricks that I guarantee you're not going to find anywhere else. Link in the description below. But now, let's get right into the video. So if we have a small account, specifically under 25000 we are going to be subject to the pattern day trader rule. And in this rule, we're only going to be able to make three day trades in a five-day period. However, to avoid this, I recommend, especially if you trade options, to switch to a cash account. If we have a cash account, we can make an unlimited amount of day trades in a single day, in a week, it doesn't matter, without being subject to the PDT rule. This is the way to take as much trades as we'd like with under 25,000. This is only using a cash account, specifically trading options. Now, if we trade futures, because there are some futures traders, there's also no PDT rule. Uh, this video is gonna be on the S&P 500 and NASDAQ, and you could trade the futures on them. There's no PDT rule with that. However, you do need a margin account. Now, a tip of advice, uh, especially when I first started trading, uh, I was really looking for a holy grail, looking at indicators that gave me some secret sauce or magic formula. However, looking back, and really what the best traders I know on Wall Street do is they focus on price and volume only. They're the only indicators they use. They don't look at anything else because the market, the stock market is just like any other market. It moves up because buyers have an urgency to buy more than sellers and the market moves down because sellers have more of an urgency to sell than buyers. The stock market is a function between buyer and seller participation and price and volume will show us true organic price action that moves the market. My charts are completely naked. I have nothing on it besides volume, besides price and VWAP, which is a function of price and volume. I don't have any other moving averages, oscillators, charts. I'm not against them. They do help paint the picture. However, how the market moves and what's responsible for price changing is the order flow between buyers and sellers and really understanding their urgency or their intention to buy and sell. So price and volume truly is anything you do need. It's anything and only what you need. Uh, like I said, other indicators can help paint the picture a little bit differently and give you an edge if you come up with a system backing it. However, price and volume truly moves the market just like any other market or auction. So now I really recommend trading SPY and QQQ and mastering them. This is the pretty much the basis to this video. You, a lot of people think they got to trade other names like, you know, scanning for the hottest stocks, the best penny stocks, looking at the best options. However, if you, this is the advice that my friend on Wall Street told me, if you focus on a select market or a few names, maybe two or three specific names and really master them, get better on understanding their personalities, how they trade, the type of volume that comes in, the times of day that they're really move the most, then you could become a successful trader. A lot of traders think they have to trade what's moving and what's really hype or what's going on out there, when in reality, sometimes the best moves are specific to the market you're watching. This guy I know on Wall Street trades specifically oil and gold, and that's his niche. That's what he trades, and he makes eight figures a year trading those names only. He doesn't look at Apple, uh, he doesn't look at the next penny stock that's ripping a thousand percent. He focuses on his names and everything else is noise. So as a beginner trader and what I have the most success with and what traders in my community have the most success with as well is SPY and QQQ. You could trade these names on a daily basis, whether you find the quality setup and it's also very easy for you to know when there's not a quality setup and to know when you have to sit on your hands and to know when you have to be extremely patient. Whether you, you know, if you trade a name that's the hottest penny stock and it's ripping a thousand percent, you don't know if you should be chasing it 
where you don't know if you should be sitting on your hands. While spying QQQ, they are extremely easy to trade in my opinion, and you could really master these two markets. Spying QQQ is more for the option side, and ES and NQ are more for the future side. Why I recommend these names is they are highly liquid. They are probably one of the most liquid markets in the world, specifically the S&P 500. Uh, they are also the markets themselves. They're basically a breadbasket of our top performing stocks in our economy. And they work extremely, extremely well with supply and demand imbalances, which is the basis to my trading strategy. Um, and now what I mean by highly liquid, I'm going to go to the trade tab up here and I'm going to pull up the option chain. These are for options traders. Uh, we have extremely high volume over here. We have some contracts that traded 60,000 contracts in a day, 50,000 contracts. Our open interest is very, very high. And I'm recording this on a weekend, so these quotes have not fully updated just yet. And also, we're experiencing some high volatility in the market right now. So the premiums right now are still very cheap. However, they are expensive for SPY at the moment. At the money is going for about $2.60. Whereas, you know, four out the money are going for about a dollar. So for us to trade one contract, this would cost a hundred dollars. And assuming our position would go to zero, we never let our positions go to zero, but assuming the worst, the most we could lose on one contract is a hundred bucks. So for small accounts, it's very friendly because they are cheap. And look at the spreads on these names. They're about three cents, maybe at most four cents. And I've also seen contracts, I just pulled up the 400 calls here from Friday, where the day we open up at about a dollar, let's call it a dollar, and in two hours, two and a half hours, they go to a high of $3.80. That's a 279% gain in a short amount of time. Our one contract, it just cost us 100 bucks. If we were to sell at the high, our $100 investment is now $380 it's worth in a very short amount of time. We do that consistently. Our small account will slowly start to build and we could grow a small account into a larger one. Another example, we don't have to catch a full move either. Let's just say we bought at $1.20. In 20 minutes after, our $120 investment could be worth $240 and we can make a 100% gain in a 10 minute period. Uh, but we have to follow a process and we have to trade a proper strategy. For example, let's go over a trade that we took. Now, this is from the pre-market plan. Just to get some market context, I post these every single day in my Discord, levels I'm looking out for, and potential setups. This was the S&P 500, and I said it's very important not to have a bias and trade the chart, just play levels, especially when there's high fear. So the market recently, like I said earlier, there's a lot of volatility. When there's higher volatility, premiums are increased. And the market has been selling off and demand zones have not been very reliable. Another thing that I do want to mention is I do all my analysis on the ES E-mini chart, the futures chart, versus doing it on SPY. It's just what works for me the best. And all my analysis comes from the left chart, which is forward slash ES. If we were to look at both charts, because on the right here, I have SPY. They are identical. They move in sync. They are perfect to the T. Uh, on how they trade. Now, from the pre-market plan, I said we have demand such as 3884 and 3858, which are these two green boxes here on the left, which in my opinion could give buyers another chance to bounce price. Now, as the market was opening up, we sold off into the zone, came up, bounced off of it, came back down, retested it, and found a bounce. This was also at the same time in the Discord that I said I would not be surprised if the market catches a bid down here at 3880. There were buyers on the tape. Again, price and volume analysis. During this day, we spotted some very nice signs in the level two and the time it sells in conjunction with supply and demand to give us a high quality trade setup. So now just speaking, uh, and I pulled up the SPY 398 calls over here to the right. I'm gonna pull up a one minute chart. Uh, I'm going to show you what these contracts did on how well these work for a smaller count. So now going to Thursday's action, as the S&P, I have my crosshairs linked up. As the S&P was selling off into this demand zone, we hit a low on the SPY 398 contracts of a dollar. And by the time of this morning rally right here, it was a quick five minute trade. They went to a high from a dollar to a dollar 80. That is an 80 cent increase 
a 76% gain in about five minutes if we were to sell at the high and buy at the low. Now, we're never going to get the low. We're never going to sell at the high. But realistically, let's just say by the time we got confirmation at $1.24 and sold at this high about $1.65, a 35% gain in a four-minute period. Our $120 investment is going to be now $165 in four minutes. If we were to trade 10 contracts, our $1,200 investment is now going to be worth $1,600. However, let's just say we didn't play the first test of demand because as I said, demand zones have not been extremely reliable in such a downtrending market where rallies have been getting sold into. But let's just say we played the retest. This is where we found the buyers on the tape defend their position. We get long spy 398 calls at $1.38. By the time the S&P rallied, let's just say we sold at the high at 39.30 when we broke the previous high. These contracts at $1.30 went to a high of $2.05. That is a 60% gain. Our $1,300 investment now made a $700 profit in a very quick amount of time. Again, these contracts move fast. If we time them properly, trade the right contracts, we're not always trading zero days to expiration because if we are not correct on our time and there's not clear direction with volatility, our contracts are gonna get destroyed. But these contracts move just like a penny stock they're extremely liquid, they have high volume, and it's very easy, in my opinion, to read the S&P and read the NASDAQ um, from a auction standpoint. So from a low to a high that day, these went up 138%. By the next day, the same contracts, which were at 41 cents, went to a high of $5. That's an 1,100% gain. Again, you can get these crazy gains intraday. You're not swinging for home runs. You're looking for small, consistent gains because they add up. Here's some traders in my Discord community. Same thing, only focusing on ES Spy. Deposited 475 bucks in his account. It's now 1230 up over 150%, slowly starting to see consistency and results. This trader's account is up 40% this week, focused on the process. Very key. Another small account. 500 bucks four days ago, joined the Discord, helped change his bad habits, and now the account's at 1,900 bucks. We have another trader, I don't wanna say his name, absolutely killing it, consistently, four, five figure profits, trading ES and NQ, um, absolutely destroying it, just became a full-time trader. And another one, first four figure trade, hit his target, followed his plan, consistently drill in the heads, the things that need to succeed. The course has positively impacted him so much. Trading the S&P futures. First four figure trade over $2,000 profit. Follow the process. Results like this are very possible. Forget about the profits. It's all about the process and following a certain style and edge. Following my advice so far, another piece of information I want you to understand is that trading is the most scalable business that you're going to find. It really is. What we do right here with one contract in this example that I was showing you at let's just say 40 bucks it cost us and it goes to five bucks. Yeah, our one contract that cost us 40 could make us 550 bucks. But following the same process, if we look at it, oh, we're only making 500 bucks. Following the same process, if we trade, let's just say 10 contracts and we get an intraday movement from four bucks to $5.50, our $400 investment now is making us 5,500 bucks simply by adding another zero to our order entry tool. It is the most scalable business. I don't care if you have one contract, 10 contracts, 100 contracts. How you make more money is by making money with small size and gradually increasing your size once you are consistent. And trading SPY and QQQ, this in my opinion, is the easiest to do it with. Now also, stop trying to hit home runs. Consistent base hits add up. Believe me, when I first started trading, I would see other people making thousands of dollars and I would try to compare and compete with them. However, consistent base hits add up. If you start swinging for a home run, eventually you're gonna strike out, especially if you're a new trader and especially if you don't have money on your side, trading with a small account and a small room for error. Stop trying to hit home runs. It's more impressive to me if you can make 50 bucks a day on a $500 account, on a $1,000 account, 
than it is to make $300 today, but lose 150 tomorrow. And then the next day lose 200. It's more impressive if you can make small, consistent base hits because that is what's going to win you the game. Defense wins the championships versus offense. And also, detach yourself from the money. Focus on the process. Stop looking at the money. If you are consistent with that one contract, if you're consistent with your two contracts, three contracts, there's nothing stopping you from following the same process, scaling up your business, trading with 100 contracts, and your consistent $50 days now turns into consistent $5,000 days. It is the same exact thing. You must focus on the process. And I can show you 100 different trade setups that I've taken, uh, but I don't want to bore everybody with the power of options or even just the power of supply and demand. Uh, but another example is here we have a supply zone. We had a triple top slash head and shoulders inside of this. Let's just say we took it short by the break of 4000 where I took this trade. The contracts were about $2.20. By the end of the day, or by the end of maybe an hour and a half before it hit the low, our contracts at $2.20 went to a high of 7 bucks almost. That's a 220% gain, and the market continuously made lower lows, continuously made lower highs, without even diving into the technical aspect backing the setup. It was just a clean move inside of supply, rejected, and these contracts at the low were sub $1. These were $0.80 cents a contract. 80 bucks it would have cost us if we paid, played one contract to a high of eight bucks. That's a thousand percent return. Our 80 bucks is now 800. Our $800 is now eight grand. It's the scalable, most scalable business. Forget about the profits. If you can f consistently make profits following your strategy, knowing when to trade and knowing when not to trade, and you're consistent for a month, two months, three months, maybe trading one to three contracts, it's very simple. Instead of trying to find out ways to make more money, just instead of buying one to three contracts, maybe now buy 10 to 15 contracts and scale up your business once you're proven to find success. So I'm gonna leave you all off on that note. I hope this video helped. Drop a like, comment if you have any questions. And remember, it's unrealistic to buy at the low and sell at the high. I'm just using it in this example to show you the power of what I'm explaining. Definitely check out the links in the description below. I offer a very in-depth and educational course. It comes with access to the Discord at no extra charge. Big changes will be coming soon. But peace out.